What is up guys? Today we have a 2017 Duramax ECM. Uh, it recently had some type of weight loss surgery, I guess, and the guy needs it to run right. Uh, this is a GM E41 ECM. We're using the Godaya box. Uh, we got the HP tuner uh, unlocker box and the MPVI3. Um, I'm going to show you guys what what happens when we just try to read it the way it is. Uh, it is locked right now. So if we hit read on it, we get this air right here. So that's what this box here is for. We're gonna be unlocking it and then putting a tune on it. So let's get to it. All right, took this up. We're gonna take this clip and we're gonna go to the white wire. And this is gonna go to our power pin here, which is that one right there. And then this red is gonna be our all time power coming from our go diag box. And what that does is it gives this box control to turn the ECM on and off. And then we're gonna take this wire here and we got it now plugged into the MPVI3, into the uh, Pro port. Uh, I just wanted to pull this up quick and show you guys. This is the pinout I'm using. So this is where we have that uh, green clip giving uh, that box control of the constant power. Um, then we have our ignitions, our can high and can low, and our ground. Um, and all these are just the same. They're all just coming off the go diag box, how we normally do it. So here is your pinout if you need it. Come back over here. I'm going to turn on our ignition. Hit gather info. We're going to go to read. Okay. So the tune file you've been supplied is a stock file because this controller is not readable. It's perfectly safe to use. This model has been previously tuned. You will lose any existing changes. So what that means is this file that HP Tuners just provided to us is a generic file. It's not one that was read off of the CCM. It's just a generic E41 2017 Duramax file. Um, so if you had any tunes in your computer previously, you're not actually reading that tune out. Just so you guys understand that. So we're gonna hit, click okay. So we're gonna go ahead and save this. Right here. All right, so now that we have this opened, so we're gonna go to right and tire. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but the unlock box just clicked on and clicked off. This process might be just a little bit different for you guys. I already purchased the credits and registered this. 
Um, so in between the saving and writing, it's going to ask you to register and, and use your credits. So you will get that screen. Um, I had already gone through it, so it doesn't prompt me to do that again. So it just finished writing that first one. Now it just gave us this uh, pop-up window that says, Upgrade completed successfully. VCM suit will now perform a right and tire on your module. Please do not disconnect the upgrade cable at this time. Okay. So I'm not real sure what it does the first time around when it writes. Um, it obviously prompts us and has us rewrite the entire again for a second time. So if anyone knows the purpose of that, feel free to uh, drop it down in the comments below. Right, complete. Please uninstall the upgrade cable and replace all removed fuses. Do not drive the vehicle with the upgrade cable installed in the vehicle. Okay. Close. All right, I'm gonna turn off our ignition here. Remove in this box and see if we can read and write with just the MPVI-3. All right, so we've gotten rid of the unlock box now. We've put this back on to that pin. We have our ignitions on. We're gonna come over here and we are going to reread this now. This just means that it's supplying us with a stock file. We're going to save it as this. I put a one here so we know this is our first reread of the module after it was unlocked. It's going to come up as the OEM operating system, the one two, because it's not gonna be shipped on the fly yet. I'm gonna save that. And we're gonna come in here. We're gonna hit apply modification. It's gonna bring up these instructions. Close that. We're going to hit file, save as. We're gonna put shift on the fly. And we're also going to change this to 69 because when you apply that modification it changed the operating system to 69 so we'll hit save we will close this we'll open this one here This is the the first read with the since the unlock with the shift on the fly uh, modification done to it. We're gonna go to compare, open compare file, and this is a file that I had for a, another truck that has the same operating system. Um, it's a shift on the fly made by PPEI. Uh, the first tune is stock. Uh, second, third, fourth, up to the fifth is 140 horsepower. So we're going to select that as our compare file. Open. Then we're going to go to compare, segment swap. And to use this segment swap function, your OS has to match. Just remember that. So this uh, tune by PPE 
already has the the weight loss done to it. If you don't know what I mean by weight loss surgery, uh, I'm not gonna tell you. You have to figure it out on your own. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm sure common sense will tell you what that means. So we're gonna select the the engine diagnostics segment, and we're gonna select the engine operation segment, and we're going to import those from our compare file, which is the PPEI file, and hit close. And now we're going to save this as PPEI. Save. Now we're going to go file, open, select that file, open. If you want to, just to make sure everything went correctly, you can hit this, go here. So then you can, obviously right here, these are green because they're different in the compare file because we didn't copy over this segment. But you can go into engine and you can see if you click through this stuff, everything matches. We don't have any green, uh, green stuff in there anywhere. So we know that it has copied the segment over that we need. So we can close that out. Go to right. We want to write entire. Um... Go to right. have it 2017 Duramax uh, E41 ECM it'll be plug and play no check engine lights shift on the fly tuning